Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And uh, this one is a Town Hall 9 base uh, from the PWC War. I wanted to get this one done before we lose the replays uh, because this is kind of an interesting base. It's compact, um, not like some of the bases you see that are all spread out these days. Um, and that kind of tripped us up. It was a t difficult base, took four attacks to three star. Um, this is their number 29 uh, out of 30, so it's their second to bottom. But to be honest, pretty much all the Town Hall 9s were maxed. Uh, this one has 30-30 heroes. Uh, the only thing that's not maxed, I think, is besides the walls, uh, just the expos that are one level under. But besides that, it's a tough base, pretty much uh, pretty high level for Town Hall 9. And uh, we'll talk through it. We'll see what the attackers did and uh, kind of what the solution ended up being. But um, one thing on this base, and uh, notice that the giant bombs, the Teslas are drawn in. Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, by the way. Uh, that's kind of important because you don't see Lava Hounds in the CC that much, but uh, this guy put one in his, uh, so that affected the plans, obviously. But looking at this base, you notice how these four air defenses are all kind of tight in the core, and right away, um, people tend to think uh, to do kind of a hybrid attack, get in there, get those air defenses, get the queen, then use like some balloons or baby dragons on the outside, and that's what the first three attackers actually all did, but it didn't work out, and we're going to talk about why uh, even though this base might look like a, a base you want to use kind of a hybrid uh, ground air attack on, uh, it's not really a good candidate for it. I mean, it could work um, with a few tweaks, but this is not the best strategy uh, to use on this base. So first of all, these, uh, these Teslas here are going to be the main things that make an air attack hard because um, any kind of kill squad you're going to send in, uh, you have to get in here uh, and take out this part of the base right here. Now the queen's going to hop the wall, assumed uh, she should hop the wall, and uh, because of that, you just have to take out that section of the base, get all four air defenses, uh, the expos are on ground, which helps, and the air sweepers, to be honest, are kind of pointed into the base, so even that's not that big of a deal. So really, I mean, if you look at this base, it, it looks like it might uh, give itself away to like a double jump uh, Govalo, and that's what some people tried, which we'll take a look at, but the Teslas are the problem. Um, even if you come in from here, you still have the Teslas on the other side to deal with, and most people came in from like this area, uh, which left all four of the Teslas still up, and these are in such a deadly location for balloons especially, because uh, the balloons can't target them directly, they have to go to one of these defenses, and uh, that way the Teslas are basically there uh, zapping them as soon as they come in range, and you know how slowly balloons move. Uh, that basically, by the time they get into the Teslas, they have no HP left, they get shot down. Plus, this guy loaded up on some air traps in these areas, uh, which was smart, because he might have suspected uh, this kind of attack would come at him. Uh, so he had some air traps, that hurts. A wizard tower and archer tower, both in the area as well. Uh, but the Teslas are the main thing that you'll notice in the first three attacks, because um, all attacks are very similar. Um, I think the first one is a baby dragon Valk combo attack in which uh, the guy, yeah, his name is literally the guy, uh, comes in uh, like that with uh, kind of a double jump uh, Valks uh, with two heels and his king and everything, and then has balloons kind of for each side here. But the Teslas are going to get those balloons taken out, and the kill squad is going to kind of uh, peter out before it can do too much either. So the base doesn't quite go down. It's very close on a lot of these attacks, but doesn't quite get the job done. Um, Another attacker comes in from this side and just drops like some quakes right like that to open up the entire uh, air defense section, which kind of works a little better, but still uh, the back end balloons do not get the job done because the Teslas are just too deadly. Um, I think the air sweeper might be able to shoot balloons that come in like that. It turns and kind of blows them back uh, on one of these attacks. And plus the air traps, just too much in that area, uh, not friendly for balloons. These compact bases, Unless you have a Lava Town tanking, balloons or even baby dragons by themselves are going to go down quicker than they would on a base that's spread out. So keep that in mind. These compact bases, unless you have a Lava Hound tanking, are pretty tough on balloons. Um, and then the last attacker, or the third attacker, the last one to not get the three star, uh, I think goes ahead and comes back in like this. Instead of baby dragons, he tries the balloons, which again doesn't work. So anyway... Um, yeah, I think that's how it works. So we'll take a look at the three attacks, all very similar, and I think all didn't work for the same reason. 
and then uh, we'll come back to this uh, screen for the fourth attack to talk about how it was different. So here's the first attack done by uh, the guy. Like I said, that's the name. Uh, like I said, also has the double jump uh, Falk baby dragon combo. And uh, I mean, not a bad plan to be honest. I think if it weren't for the uh, the, the, um, <clears throat> the unfriendly uh, Tesla locations there, then the, uh, the balloons might have worked out and got the job. Uh, but anyway, drops down a few baby dragons just for the funnel. Uh, not the cheapest funnel. I think people might overuse them a little bit on funnels, uh, especially with those air defenses, ready to shoot them down as soon as they move in. But gets the job done either way. And uh, these Valks are basically kind of north-south, north-south going right through the base, or I guess northwest to southeast, uh, just straight through, not taking out a whole lot of defenses on the side. But they get the job done. They get the air defenses. They get the queen. Uh, that's all they were intended to do. Now, here come the baby dragons. Uh, he did clump up a few up top, but for the most part, they're spread out. They're all getting the uh, raged uh, bonus. He went ahead and dropped his queen like uh, on the other side of the base. Not sure why, but look at on each side of the base, there's that little Tesla fortress, um, and the other defenses are kind of tanking for the Teslas. Uh, the balloons can't quite make their way in. A few Valks actually try to run in there. They get one of the Teslas taken out. Uh, but just too difficult. That Lava Hound is still up. It's going to head over for the Queen, it looks like. And uh, from here, the Baby Dragon's taking some damage and just can't quite get the job done. Uh, the Teslas are just too brutal, uh, too tough on the air on the outside of this base without any real tanking uh, like Lava Hounds or anything. So anyway, go ahead and fast forward. The Lava Hound pops. Uh, it does some damage to the Queen. That last Baby Dragon goes down, and then there goes the Queen. So anyway, that's the first attack done by the guy. Let's take a look at the second attack. So here is Puffer Joe uh, coming in with the second attack. And it's the one I talked about that has the uh, earthquakes on the uh, kind of the right side of the base there. So a little bit different of an entry. Um, but basically he's opening up all four air defenses still. So uh, I guess gets the same job done. Plus he has an extra spell now and that he has a rage instead of uh, only having two heals because uh, he doesn't bring any poisons, which he doesn't need since it's a Lava Hound in the CC, which isn't that big of a deal. The one thing I'll never get is why the queen went down there. Uh, he just kind of dropped her down almost as a funnel troop. Didn't pop the ability. Maybe it was an accident to drop her. Maybe he was expecting to pop the ability and get some more value. Um, not the biggest deal because she would have been on that Lava Hound anyway. But still kind of a waste of a queen. And she's you know so important in your attack that that kind of crippled him at the beginning. Um, so definitely hurt there. But not, not going to break the attack at this moment. Uh, here come the Valks, the king has the Rage, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, raging up a group of Valks at Town Hall 9, but does it anyway. Also has the heal uh, for them, and one more heal in the bag. Uh, here come these balloons, pretty easy targets. Kind of clumps them up way too much in those cannons. One balloon for each cannon would have been fine, but instead he drops kind of four all on one cannon, so not the best deployment there. But actually looks like he's going to take out this base, uh, except that one air defense doesn't quite go down. The little Golemite's on it, but it gets quite a few shots off on the balloons. Um, that takes out a main uh, force. That air sweep was actually doing some work on the balloons from the north, which is why you probably should have dropped only one or two instead of the four. Uh, but the sweeper goes down. The king is actually still up. And uh, the balloons are kind of closing in. But right here, the Teslas uh, kind of get them taken out. A few air traps. Uh, just very close. Maybe some better balloon deployment even would have done it. Uh, but just can't quite get that section of the base right there. The little Tesla fortress that I talked about surrounded by uh, those defenses, and uh, plus the Lava Hound's still up, so that's going to end his chances of any kind of cleanup. Uh, so anyway, good try to Puffer Joe. Probably the best of the three plans, just can't quite get it done. So let's take a look at the third one and uh, see what went wrong there. So the third attack is done by Nate. Um, he kind of goes back to the first plan a little bit with the double jump uh, to get to the Queen. The one problem is it also, it's skipping Archer Towers. So if you take a look at this, um, the jump spells aren't going to let them into those archer towers that are shooting at the golems right now. So it's purely uh, just the four air defenses, the queen, and I guess the two core archer towers that are going to be taken out, which isn't the best value. Typically, you want to get a few extra defenses, especially air targeting defenses when you're bringing that many balloons. Um, also, the lava hound busts pretty quickly, so that doesn't help. Or not the lava hound, the golem goes down pretty quickly because of all the initial defenses. So things are already taking damage. Uh, he is a little bit late on these heals. The first heal goes down there, but he already lost quite a few Valks. Um, still holding on to that second heal. 
but uh, heals were a little bit late in my opinion. The queen goes down up top. Uh, all these attacks, the queen is not doing a whole lot, which is something that you'll see is different in the fourth and final attack. Uh, but the balloons have the haste, which will keep them moving. They actually get in there and get a few Teslas on the left side of the screen. But uh, besides that, the Valks did their job, even though they went down uh, a little quicker than I thought they should have. They still went, you know, pretty much cut through the core of the space uh, from one side to the other. But like, once again, every every attack we've seen so far, uh, those little core, uh, not core Teslas, the little like Teslas off to the side are doing way too much damage to the balloons. And uh, right here, still on each side, uh, those little areas are left up. So anyway, uh, good try to Nate. Maybe should have done a different plan, taking a look at how the first two attacks went. But, uh, you know, it's tough at Town Hall 9 sometimes on these bases that you don't see as much. We'll go ahead and fast forward to the end and take a look at how uh, Nubis got the 3-star on this base using quite a different plan than the first three attackers. Okay, so the fourth attack and the 3-star was done by Darth Nubis. Uh, and he comes at this base from the ground. And the thing you'll notice, the real difference that really allowed him to get the three star uh, was the spells. Because this wasn't the best technical attack. Uh, there was a few uh, hot there, there was a few, you know, substantial groups of hogs that went down to some double giant bomb sets. Uh, wasn't, you know, like a perfect, you know, when you look at some attacks, they're just everything's planned out, everything's accounted for. Wasn't quite one of those, but the thing is, on a compact base like this, the spell value can really get you the 3-star, and that's because you can cover a lot of defenses with one spell. So if you're using hogs, uh, you can drop down one spell. Like, for example, that area is such good value because you can cover all those defenses with just one heal spell for your hogs, um, especially for Valks, too. You can keep them, you know, raged or healed uh, through a lot of defenses. So that's kind of the power of the attacker when going at these compact bases. And uh, that's going to lend itself to ground attacks more, where you can get that spell value. So uh, the plan for this one is basically a few, I think, baby dragons for the funnel. Comes in right here with a group of Valks. Um, has his queen at the bottom. Just lets her walk up north. Has one rage for her, which he drops right here when she's taking a lot of uh, damage. But besides that, she gets, uh, I think, those Teslas taken out. Uh, right like that. It helps the Expo's not maxed out. So it's not doing quite as much damage as it would otherwise. Um, and then just lets her walk up north, taking out pretty much the outside of the base on the left side there. But like I said, the Valks come through, uh, has a quake that dro he drops uh, right like that. Uh, the four quakes, they and doesn't bring any poison, so still has the three spell space. And uh, lets the Valks just make their way up here. And it's good because he lets them get in there, take out these Teslas that are uh, next to each other pretty much. So the Valks are very good at taking out Teslas. Uh, it has the two heals for them, which he drops like right here and right here. Uh, sends the hogs through like this. And because the defenses are all so close together, gets great value for just the, uh, I think like a two finger drop of the hogs. Now they do hit that double giant bomb set, but by this point the Queen's already made her way up here. I think like all these defenses are down. Um, there's not much left in the base. So sometimes you can't quite account for everything, but uh, if you just send through a solid kill squad, hogs, have a good queen walk, uh, something's going to be left up at the end, usually the queen, and she can finish off uh, what you can't quite deal with uh, with your kill squad or your hogs or something like that. So uh, like I said, not the best technical attack, but gets the job done because the spell value can be pretty... Pretty good on these compact bases. So let's take a look at the attack. It'll make a little more sense when we watch it. Uh, here we go. So here is uh, Darth Nubis's attack. You can see right here he drops down the baby dragons, uh, creates the funnel. Uh, and I think this is a little bit more of an appropriate place to use baby dragons because there's not uh, any air defenses. They're going to stay up for a while. And uh, there's some high HP buildings that would uh, be difficult to take out with like wizards or minions. Uh, so they get the job done. The queen starts at the bottom. Uh, also, the funnel helps her stay uh, to the left side by uh, using the same funneling troops uh, he uses to help his Valks go in. They also get double duty for the Queen Walk. Uh, so anyway, uh, the Queen's going to kind of head back to the right for a few uh, buildings, but she'll uh, end up going west in the end. Here come the Valks, uh, sends them in. Uh, they'll take out these buildings pretty quickly. Then all they have to, get to do is target the wall. Uh, they get to the Queen pretty quickly. That heal spell wasn't the best placement, a little bit too far to the outside, but it still gives those Valks a little heal. 
Uh, so they go into the base at full health. Drops the Rage for the Queen. She's making her way through. A uh, few wall breakers, I'm not sure what those were for. But anyway, uh, they were, I guess, just in the CC that he forgot to drop. Uh, but anyway, uh, everything making it th what, making its way through the base. The first double giant bomb set has been triggered by the Valks. He's used all his heal spells. Um, here come the Hogs. They're making their way through. Not quite a two-finger deployment, but goes pretty heavy, as you want to do on a compact base. Uh, the queen still working, still making her way through, and uh, right there, she uh, the hogs are going to triple tri trigger. I can't talk today. The double giant bomb set, uh, but pops the queen's ability, so she stays up. She got both those Teslas, which caused so much problems in the last attack, or the last three attacks, and uh, everything is kind of converging on these last few defenses. And like I said, even though the hogs go down, uh, even though uh, the healers are now getting shot down. He has those uh, CC Valks, which ran around the base because he dropped them too late. Uh, he has a few Wizards. Uh, Lava Hound pops right there. But all that's left up is that Expo because um, even though at the end he hit the Double Giant Bomb set, as long as you're kind of, everything is, you know, going south at the end, typically you have enough firepower to get to the base. Um, the time you don't want stuff to go wrong is the beginning of the attack. But if you can make your way through 90% of the base uh, without having any too big uh, problems, then typically you're going to be good. Uh, so that was kind of what was evident in this attack. Awesome job to Darth Anubis, finally getting the 3-star in this base. Uh, but hope you guys learned something from this base destruction video. That's the point, just uh, every every episode there's a different thing that goes on uh, that separates the 3-stars from the fails. So anyway, uh, good job to all 4 attackers though. They all had pretty solid plans, which I think were, were could have worked on their own merit had they been adjusted. I think this was just the most highest percent uh, for success by using this army composition. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.